So. <laughs> whoever this is, you're thinking of trying to get me a gift or something to get me to see you? For being my, uh, my line of sight? Uh, to help you. To heal you. Because you know I'm a healer. Because of something that you've done. Behind my back. That's not how that works. Mm -mm. See, that is your judgment, your karma, what you've accumulated and racked up because of your sneakiness and your conniving, cunning nature. How a person can think or who oh, you think that you or thought that you could be me, right? Like quite literally thought that you can commit fraud and walk as if you were walk in my place if you, as if you're me. Now you want my help. Absolutely not. Why would I ever help you? If you can answer that logically, then sure, I will. But you can't. So no, I won't. 144 on the timer. And even if I wanted to, even if I wanted to, there is nothing that I could do. I'm not God, like I say all the time. I'm not God. And plus, I wouldn't even try to use my gifts in an in an inappropriate type of way. That's an in, that's inappropriate. Yeah, my gifts are to help people, not to get people out of situations that they knew were wrong to begin with, but they decided to do it in the first place. Two, two, two on a timer. Then you want you want help from the person that you tried that you did identity theft on. That you scammed. I don't know what's wrong with people in their in their 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 elementary thinking. God was testing you, every last one of you. You were being tested and you failed miserably. Miserably. And for that, you must deal with the consequences and the repercussions of your actions. What's what's the saying? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. I think that's it. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This is your equal and opposite reaction. You don't get to aimlessly move along and do things without thinking about anyone but yourself right trying to cause hurt to somebody that has done nothing to you that has tried to help you as a matter of fact and then when you get in trouble you think that you can try to come up with some type of scenario or plan to get back into my energy or get back into my good graces so that you can use my energy to get you out of trouble. Absolutely not. Who do you think that you are? Hmm? Who do you think that you are? Now, while I, while I say I feel... bad for some of you a little bit at the same time not really not really i feel bad for you for your ignorance and um the childlike mindset that you have but not for the repercussions that you're that are being administered to you from your actions not i don't feel bad about that i don't feel bad about that not at all not at all. See, because when you were doing things against me, trying to take things from me, 
that you had no claim to. No claim to. You were trying to take out of my mouth. You were trying to take out of my children's mouths. Children that I don't even have yet, but will soon. But you were trying to take out of their mouths, out of my lineage's mouth. You were trying to take from my grandfather who's dead and gone. In the physical, he's gone. But he's very, very much so present in my life and around me. But you tried to take something that had nothing to do with you. Nothing. You felt entitled to it. You felt like you could do it because you wanted to. So no, you're about to go through significant changes. Five, five, five on my timer as I say that. None of this is by chance. There is no such thing as coincidence. None. We were all being tested. I passed my test. You all didn't. Had I stayed around and still had compassion and tried to uh, uh, get you guys to see that what you were doing was about to garnish you something that you will never, ever forget, then I would have been in deep water too. But I know better than that. And thank God, God has given me gifts to be able to see beyond the physical. So no, I will not help you. I can't help you even if I wanted to. But if I could, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You don't deserve the help. Mm -mm. You don't deserve the help. We all deserve what we put out. You know, if it's hatred we put out, that's what we deserve back because that's what we put out. If it's love, kindness, we put out, that's what we deserve to get back. You put out hatred, disdain, envy, jealousy, and all, all type of other things that I'd rather not mention on my channel that I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now. Disgusting things. Disgusting things. And some of you are stuck with things for the rest of your life. Some of these things will take you out because they're terminal illnesses that you tried to A, put on me, but I don't deal with any of you. So that's not possible. Couldn't do it physically. You try to do it spiritually. And you've been spreading it around to the public. Without a care in the world. Thinking, that, oh, if I got to deal with it, everybody should. You're going to pay for that. How dare you? Take other people's lives into your own hands. How dare you? You got blood on your hands. Blood soaking, dripping. You got blood on your hands. Just saying.